much. If you're planning to catch a flight from Syracuse this week, you're going to have plenty of company. The airport's already seen big crowds for the Thanksgiving holiday. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran has advice to help you prepare for takeoff. It's beginning to look a lot like 2019. Well, when it comes to flying from Syracuse for Thanksgiving. This week, we will have over 32,000 departing seats out of this airport. And with that, it means we're going to have crowds. Terreri says part of that is because business travel has returned to the region and there's more leisure flying happening as well as more options here at Hancock International Airport. We've added right after the pandemic, not only new airlines, but also new routes. So obviously Southwest is our newest airline, but we've added new uh, city pairs. So the Dallas-Fort Worth flight that's been added in, um, they brought back some of the Denver flight. We had Miami added by two airlines. You'll see more people at the airport, but especially during three peak times. In the morning from 4.30 to 6.30, then from 10 a.m. to noon, and in the afternoon from 3 to 6.30. Get to the airport early, about two hours early. Uh, that's going to allow you enough time to find parking, to get through the checkpoint, to use our concessions, and uh, deal with any of those little things that pop up when people travel. So two hours ahead of time. And to help fuel you for your journey, all concessions will be open. During the, especially the morning push, uh, everything will be open. We have 100% concessions open at this airport, as well as uh, the staffing at the checkpoint and all the airport authority staff as well. As you pack your suitcase for travel, make sure to pack more patients too. Iris St. Moran, New Channel 9. And the airport does expect travel for next month to be busier than it was in 2019.